You know this girl or not? Nope. I know who I know, and who I don't know. I don't know her. Think hard. Okay. Maybe seen her once. At station. Riding north on bullet train. North, huh? Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. You VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting to understand. You ever retire a human? Your career is over. Remember that. I checked with UN Air. Looks your rep swung that Moonbus massacre last month. They ever find the Moonbus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. How many reps are you talking about? Enough. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. Your floor number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Zubin was the first Nexus 6 I'd come up against. There was something in his eyes, an almost primordial desire to live. Most of the 3s, 4s, and 5s I'd seen would just give up when you had them. But these 6s, they were a whole other breed. Portrait of the Sleep Deprived.
got your delivery here, man. Oh, what? Kingston Kitchen. Oh, yes, right. Hold on. Is this what the gravity be like on Mars? Oh, no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real comfy. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say... Jeez. Oh! Can you control your rat? I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred chihuahua. And he's totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation? Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. You also do outside work? Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand the good in the holds deep meaning for me. Where be your research on Nexus 6? I need test studies, contacts, the works. Only civic leader! Extra terrestrial gravity! <laughs> One more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes, they be hosing you off the true life building across town. No, I swear! I don't have anything. If I did, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Maraji, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance, they're closer to him than I am. Where? DNA Row. They're all working down on DNA Row. No, 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 no. You one miserable package man. No. No, please, don't. Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry. I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break at it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the runs in our deal or not. Tyrell Security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Your floor number, please. McCoy, LPD. Just a minute. Where do I go? Grav test on the east wing, 66th floor. Here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendooler ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. files on the Tyrell network and fail. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates?
The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me, like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series, the kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for the new entertainment model, a comedian designed to entertain the troops off-world.